and welcome to Cassette Beast. Oops. <laughs> um, didn't mean to jump into the river there. Luckily, I have the swim ability now. So, we are... Oh, right. I actually need the box. Let's go and get that box and then... Then we'll see about pushing those buttons down and um, hopefully getting both of the signs up at the same time. Alright, here we go. Oh, just a bit too far away. Does the box not do anything? Meredith, you're kind of in the way. Oh my gosh, Meredith. Yeah, the box doesn't actually do anything here. Hmm. Well then. Um... I guess I'm gonna have to dash between the two, aren't I? Let's leave the box here, because we don't need it. I wish I could leave Meredith there as well. We certainly don't need her for this. I'd actually prefer her not to be here. She just gets in the way. I think this ought to be doable. Oh, mm, overshot it. You just gotta find the perfect path. From one button to the other. I think it should be doable. See? I maybe could have done it there, if I hadn't overshot it again. And Meredith being in the way certainly isn't helping. I wonder if I can just leave my um, companion at the cafe and just come here or by my lonesome. Probably not though. I think the game maybe requires me to have a companion. Hmm. We need to get up there. But that um plate on that elevator thingy isn't reacting to me from down here. Um, is this going to add enough height? Can we put it on top of the... No, we can't. Hmm. Well, I wonder how we raise that bridge. There's a dude up there as well. Quite a few rocks down here too. Why are there so many rocks down here? If I can't stack them on top of each other, I wonder what they will be needed for. Hmm, it's not tall enough. Okay. Let's explore over here a little. Ah. 
the perfect human being is all human beings put together. It is a collective. It is all of us together that make perfection. Yeah. I exhort you also to take part in the great combat, which is the combat of life and greater than every other other earthly conflict. All right. Well, I don't want to be going after the metal monster here, so we'll do this. It'll be... Oh. That's not good. Looks very nice, though. But, um... Yeah, my attack is going to give it the poison coating. Which I didn't want. I'm also burning. Maybe let's do some biting to at least recover a little bit of health. That works great though. Recover a tiny bit and lose it immediately. was it. Cool. I was thinking we'd have to fight them separately as well. I thought that I could beat you. Now I am truly wise, because now I know that I know nothing. We are philosophers, Socrates, not fighters. Hardly any human being is capable of pursuing two professions or two arts, rightly. to record to early gig here because it's new for us. I think we already have the elf bless. And obviously we have to do damage to the twirly gig for me to be able to record it. Ouch. The recording failed as well. Lovely. Let's try again. And we'll do the same attack again. Ah, oh, missed. We are not doing so well here. Ice and water conduct electricity, increasing the scope and range of lightning types attacks. And since we already had the uni target, it ended up reducing it. But then the uh, plant attack... Um... Re... Um... Did it? Uh, twirly gigs were once crudely made target practice dummies but have since gained sentience through unknown means. Lacking any complex limbs, they are forced to move and attack by pivoting on the wooden stakes that run through their bodies. Can be found in Cherry Meadow. Oh, is that where we're at? Nice defenses and HP, but not so great at attacking. I wonder, this must be like the base form, right? And then when you when you remaster it into the next form, it probably gets some attack power. I 
I guess we'll see. Yeah, we are not doing so great in this fight. We've been taking a lot of damage. My poison form is, I think, the most effective one here. But, um, I've been recording the twirly gig, so I haven't had the chance to make many attacks. Put the wall down right before our big attack. Well, um, this will do nicely. Oh, unfortunately, I went before Meredith there. Would have been nice to have crumbled the wall before I did my bite thing. Ah, come on. That uni target is really screwing with us here. And the bite finished it. But wow, we took a lot of damage. We kinda need... Oh. Church looks structurally unsound. Hello. What are those guys? Mm, where was the, um, it's on the next square, the, um, campfire. Oh, we already went past it. Yeah. Go up here, and what's that? That puts that down there. Hmm. So, campfire. Oh, right, down there. No, 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 no. We want to camp. No fighting. Oh, thank you. And we make small talk. So, we really want to get up there, or I really want to get up there, to the uh, person on the pink exercise mat. Hmm. We probably need to raise that bridge. But where's the, uh, oh, hello. Eating a water type with a fire type attack releases a hot steam that heals the water type as it recondenses. Characters with healing steam regain some health at the start of each turn. I guess it's kind of the same as the uh, healing leaf with the plant types. Let's see if we can record this really pad
50%. Ow. 40. Really? Ugh. Let's try again. And we'll do the same thing. Come on. 57. Really? At 57%? Ugh. Their time tells the truth with the special water tape. Great, it's regaining a lot of health. Pulse mature state. The freely padded limbs allow it to hunt for food. They can often be found hiding by the edges of ponds and lakes. If someone or something passes by that the freely pad deems edible, it'll attempt to ensnare it with its long tongue. Can be found in Thurstaton Lake and Cherry Meadow. Nice melee attack and pretty okay speed and HP. Yeah, we experienced the melee attack ourselves in this fight. Alright, we're done. We are certainly finding, finding a nice bit of wood here. Which is good, because we are needing to camp quite often. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, that was just an updraft. Hmm. What do we do with these? Huh. <laughs> I guess... That's what we do. Double smack and basic tape. Cool. We can't interact with them anymore. I, I was thinking that maybe there would be another prize if we turned them the other way. You know, so that they would all be red. But I guess not. Um, which way do we want to go here? This does nothing for the moment. Hmm, maybe let's go talk to that dude. Hello? Are you here to research the pint-sized domino rumor too? The gossip points to this location, but so far I've only seen regular-sized dominoes. Maybe it all has something to do with the train that passed by underground a moment ago? Hmm... Curious? Oh, hi. I make silly mistakes sometimes. French jokingly call me a dummy. Little do they know. Well, do that and energy shot.
Yeah. Get poisoned. And bite too. Nice. Yeah, the lightning type isn't so great against the plant type here. But I think we'll be okay. Oh. I guess the uni target is pretty bad, huh? Because it lowers accuracy on moves that are naturally just... And that naturally just target one enemy. Second life here. Yeah, the accuracy down is not great. Let's do glass cannon. Just end this a little sooner. That wasn't very much damage at all. Well, I guess it did have the... Uh, Defense up. Fight. Ouch. Uh, I guess all we can do is smack. But at least it'll, um, it'll poison it. Use another lightning type. And I guess I want to fight again, so we should do something that doesn't attack it. There we go. Got a teeny bit of health back. Cat 5 learned battery. Which is great because we do use the charge a lot. Yep, I really am a dummy. Aww. So, where was the yoga person? Because I think we want to get to them. Uh, hmm. I guess, was it like... A bit of a ways up or like to the north? Hmm, maybe. I am intrigued by that abbey or or whatever it is as well. Glane's Glastain Bury Abbey. Okay. Really, Gator? I want the Lily Gator. We'll try basic tape first, and then if we need to, we'll try the water tape. Oh, right, we really need to do damage. So we'll start recording on the next round. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I totally forgot I equipped radioactive on that form. So let's record. We'll try basic tape first and um, let's do the wonderful seven here. Yikes, only 5% base chance. Ugh, great. Good damage though. Astral type attacks drain power from targets of the four elements. Fire, earth, air and water. Only 30%. Ouch. And we failed. I do want the Lily Gator though. Let's use the water tape. Is any good against water. 52%. Water type attacks gradually erode earth type targets, chipping away at their defenses. Well, apparently not. Got it. One in every hundred frilly pads in natural environments will develop into a lily gator. The lily gators act as bodyguards for the frilly pads in their waters, fending off any drastically stronger aggressor aggressors that the frilly pad would not stand a chance against otherwise and can be found in Cherry Meadow. Alright. Hmm. Glass Cannon maybe? And Mountain Smash? damage once again. Well, mostly Meredith did. You know what? Hmm. I think I, um, well, let's camp first and then decide. I'm kind of thinking I may want to go and um, try to get to the west side of Harbour Town. There was a strong wind there preventing us, but we know now that we can dash through the wind. So if we can't get up there. Hmm, maybe let's look around here a little more first though. Open that. There's a rogue fusion up there. And that works. Nice. Oh. The monsters here are scarier than we are. Alright then. The monsters down here are plenty strong for us as well, so... 
don't want to face monsters that are even stronger. Oh right, that only summons you down here. And this really doesn't react to us at all? Nope. Hmm. I would love to get up there. Do we have over here then? Why is there a thing here? Like, what? what's that platform there for? Hmm, curious. Switches or anything? No. Hmm. Nothing at all. Can we glide from here? And we really can't get up there from here by jumping. No. Ah, uh, want to get up there. Hmm. Disappointment. Well, I guess we could go and explore West Harbor Town. We know how to get through the wind, so we'll go over here. Oh, hmm. I don't understand you, Eugene. You love all this save the community stuff, but you don't want to join the, join the rangers with me. Well... It's nothing personal. I'm just a loose cannon, is all. A lone wolf. I can't abide by an organization that might hold me back. <laughs> I don't think that's it. I think you're scared that you might fail the entry test. Uh, That's not it at all. <laughs> yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Actually, I think I might want to take Eugene as my uh, companion for a while. Hello. Oh. My favorite radio show is Sybil FM, hosted by Captain Sybil herself, out in the marshes. Another captain. Okay. But what we want to do here now is to... Um... Oh, right. We need to use the elevator. Oops. 
we need to use the elevator over here to uh, get there. We want to go and uh, get to where the wind was preventing us from going further to the left. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we are. Hmm. Let's explore a little bit before we end this episode. And then we can do like a proper exploration of this area in the next episode. We'll get started in this one though. Don't worry about the traffic crab, that's just my son. He loves playing with his bootleg tape. Um, bootleg? Yeah, have you ever seen a monster in your travels that isn't its normal color? That's a bootleg. But don't confuse it with a coating. Bootleg monsters permanently have different colors, different elemental types, and different moves from usual. And when you record them, they keep those attributes. Cool. Recorded bootlegs have a higher rate of producing un uncommon and rare moves so they can be very useful. Here, why don't you take this and see for yourself? Captain Cody gives me his spares, so I have plenty already. Ice pack. Ice packs have icicle beaks that they use to fend off attackers. In warmer climates, these beaks are known to melt away entirely, which is why the ice pack is found almost exclusively in the cold heights of Mount Wirral. Yep, can be found in Mount Wirral and Mount Wirral Caves. We were not a high enough level to go there yet though. Bootleg monsters can appear anywhere at random, but apparently they're more often seen in fusions. I've heard that some very rare bootleg monsters sparkle and shine, like as if they're covered in glitter. That would be pretty cool. Okay, so let's go check in here. Life in Harbour Town is peaceful, but I miss city life. Commuting on hot trains, buying expensive lunch from a supermarket, losing most of my wages to rent. Those truly were the days. Okay, well, to each their own. A lot of newcomers in town go through a difficult period. If I had any advice for you, it would be to embrace your new life here. That doesn't mean you should also forget the life you used to have, though. You're as much your past as you are your future, you know? Yeah, I think we'll save the game here though. And in the next episode, we'll go see if we can find Felix. Um, if you still, if you still remember, he was the guy who we, we found like 
a while ago who um, told us to come visit him in West Harbour Town. So we'll see if we can do that in the next episode. And also explore more of this west side of Harbour Town. For now though, thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.